you guys see this Statue of Liberty because it's tax season and the Statue of Liberty guy is right here he's in a Statue of Liberty outfit and I'm gonna see if I can go by and put my hand out and it will high-five me <laughs> see it right here look he's gonna do it all right, brother. Okay, he high-fived me. Hey, I gotta tell you guys something absolutely hilarious. <laughs> you ever have something... Well, let me finish my sentence. I always do that. I get so engrossed in the story that I forget my sentence to finish it. Um, I had something happen to me so funny last night in the chat room right below here. If you guys want to die laughing, it's so hilarious. You've got to go to this chat room. Let me tell you what happened last night. Let's pick up some speed here. Look at that Rolls Royce. You guys are going to die laughing. When I tell you this, it's absolutely hilarious. Let me just get up to six here real quick. I think that's it. Here. Let's see. Why is it going fast today? Okay, I'm in sixth gear. Okay! <laughs> Hold on. Let me open up my visor. Check this out. You ever have something happen to you so funny that when you're going to sleep at night, you, you think about it and you can't stop laughing even while you're sleeping, lying there in bed? <laughs> <laughs> I had one of those nights last night. It was so funny. I'm still laughing about it today. So I thought maybe I'm just tired. You know, you get tired and you get kind of where you can laugh at anything. But I woke up this morning. I was still, I'm still laughing now. Okay. <laughs> Here's what happens. First of all, I have a chat room. Uh, when you go right below here at www.shockonnow.net, see it right below the video. And in this chat room, because I used to be an atheist and now I'm a Christian, a lot of atheists will come in and they will question me and ask me different questions. Well, why did you become a Christian and all this? And deep down inside, I know they want to become Christians too. In fact, I call atheists embryonic Christians. I believe most atheists, if they stay near the gospel of Jesus Christ, like radioactivity, it will begin to uh, to change them from the inside out. So, um, but every now and then the atheists come in and they want to, they want to get some good phonage video in of me answering their question and then they can upload it on YouTube, right? This is what they love to do, and it's so funny because they'll come in and they'll ask me questions. Now, but I prepared for it. So one of the questions that atheists ask, as you know, is when you ask them to prove that atheism is even true, and we're going to talk about the conflicting answers they give, but they will bring up one person in their holy trinity, the leprechaun. Because <laughs> you know that they always talk about leprechauns, unicorns, and spaghetti monster. They've created their own trinity. Well, what they were trying to do last night, and it backfired on them, and it backfired in a very humorous way, is when I asked the atheist to prove that atheism is true, I go, you prove that atheism is true, we'll have a little debate here, and I'll take the side of truth, Christianity. And when we're done, everyone can judge who provided the most proof and evidence and data. So the guy wouldn't really want to do it. He kind of chickened out, right? But nevertheless, he goes, well, I have a question for you. And he didn't want to debate, right? So I said, okay, what's the question? <laughs> and so he said, I'll answer your question, how atheism is true, if you answer this question. So here's where it gets funny. Now, before I tell you the question he asked, one of my friends, 
uh, his name when you go and chat, his name's Christian. Christian. You'll see him there, right? Sometimes. He has this software on his computer, which is a voice changing software. So you can talk into your headset and you can click old man and it'll be like, hello. And it actually makes the person sound like an old man. You can click little kid and it'll be like hello it's like a little kid right you can click female and it'll actually change the male's voice to a female voice and then there's even dog voices that go rah, 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 like that but then there's a leprechaun <laughs> and you know where I'm going with this there's a leprechaun setting so joking around one day I told Christian and we didn't rehearse this but I told Christian, I go, you know, the next time an atheist comes in and brings up this leprechaun thing, you should act like you're a leprechaun, do your leprechaun voice, right? So we just kind of talked about this in passing. We didn't really plot it or plan it. So what happens is last night, there's a bunch of people in the room, a lot of them, in the chat room. You can see right below here, they're in there right now, right below here, shakanow.net, below this video. And I'm... Um, Sure enough, this atheist comes in and he wants to get some good ponage video for his YouTube channel, most likely. Most likely. So he said, I'm going to ask Shock to prove that leprechauns exist. So he comes in and he asks me that, well, prove that leprechauns exist. And at that time, Christian's in the room and he says, this is so good. He says, hey, Shock. He goes, there's a person here named Patrick. And, and then I realized what Christian was doing. He was going to say, uh, here's Patrick. And then he was going to switch to the leprechaun. Hold on. People are going very fast today for some reason. He was going to switch to the leprechaun voice. So all the atheists are in there. And they asked me the question, prove leprechauns exist. So all of a sudden, Patrick comes on and he goes, Hey, Shaq! In his leprechaun voice, right? <laughs> and I said, Now, Patrick, I go, it's what a coincidence you're here. And we totally wing it, Patrick and I, which is really Christian with the leprechaun voice. So Patrick and I totally wing it. We ad lib it like Johnny Carson and Ed McMahon. And it was absolutely hilarious. I wish I would have recorded it. Someone probably did. Even the atheists were dying laughing, and here's what we did. Some of them were laughing, some of them got ballistically mad. Because it was so funny, because we were mocking the leprechaun question. So I said, now Patrick, are you a leprechaun? And he's like, yes I am, Chuck. And I said, I said, well, and then, so all the other atheists, they start, Shock, I can't believe how moronic you are. They're mad because it's backfiring on them because now I'm actually taking their leprechaun question ser seriously. <laughs> and I got this guy who's pretending he's a leprechaun. So I said, okay, Patrick. And of course, you know, he's a leprechaun, so his name's got to be a good Irish name, Patrick. I said, Patrick, prove to us you're a leprechaun because this, this is what the atheists want to want. They want proof that leprechauns are gift. So here's where it gets funny, and this is what kept me up last night laughing. So Patrick starts singing <laughs> with Irish eyes are smiling. <laughs> and you now while he's singing it, the atheists are using the F word. They're cussing him out, you mother blanker, you son of a blank. <laughs> now the funny part is Patrick just keeps singing. With Irish eyes, with Irish eyes are smiling. <laughs> it was so good. So why he's singing it, proving he's a leprechaun, the atheists are ticked off because the whole room's laughing because Patrick's singing when I when Irish eyes are smiling. And then Patrick doesn't quit singing as he's singing, they're cussing at him. I mean, the worst cussing I've ever heard in my life. And they're going ballistic. Evidently, they must have tried to record it for like a ponage video, but it backfired on them. 
because now if anyone ever sees that video or the audio it's going to be like me saying they're going to say shock prove leprechauns exist and then i'm like well there's a leprechaun in the room right now prove prove you a leprechaun if you start singing when i ever shy you're smiling oh that was so fun last night now let's get to some serious bizarre things the atheist was saying I will not mention the atheist name to protect the ignorant. I had atheists come in and one atheist I said, I, I asked him, I said, you know that atheism contradicts itself? And he said, no it doesn't. It doesn't make any claims whatsoever. I said, it certainly does. And I said, for example, let me ask you a question. Are you an atheist that claims, number A, that it's impossible for God to exist? And, or are you an atheist that claims, B, it is impossible for God to exist? So we got, it's possible for God to exist, and it's impossible for God to exist. And he said, well, I believe no atheist can say it's impossible for God to exist. He said, no atheist can say that because God can exist. And I said, okay, but are you aware that there are atheists that say it's impossible for God to exist? They're called hard atheists, for example. And he's like, well, I'm saying it's possible for God to exist. And then we had other atheists in the room and they're like, no, it's impossible for God to exist. And I said, but both of you are atheists, right? And they're like, right. I go, do you see how you guys conflict each other? Every Christian I meet is consistent and says Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Because to be a Christian, there's certain core elements that will qualify you to be a Christian. Not everybody that says they're a Christian is a Christian. You can tell who's a Christian and who isn't by certain core elements of Christianity, but not with atheism. Atheism, you could even have diametrically opposed beliefs, and you could still be an atheism. Let's say you and I were at an atheism meeting. The atheist could say, raise your hand if you believe God exi can exist, and half the room or more would raise their hand. Then you could say, raise your hand if you believe it's impossible for God to exist. You'd have a ton of people, maybe 40% of the room, raise their hand. And then I asked the atheist, and, and this was awesome, he admitted it. Now he ran from the question like for about 10 minutes, but finally I said, I'm not gonna let you escape from this question. And the question was, are you willing to admit that atheism contradicts itself? big time. Are you willing to admit that? Because those two beliefs, which are in the sphere of atheism, contradict each other. One says God can exist. One says it's impossible God can exist. And listen closely. The atheist conceded. And he said, yes, I admit it is a contradiction. There you have it, folks. The laws of common sense say if you have two diametrically opposed beliefs, it is a fallacy. There you have it. The atheist admits himself atheism is a fallacy. So I'll leave you with this song. When I reach either smiling. <laughs> that was so fun. And atheism gives us so many opportunities for comedy. Hey, we're in the chat room right now. By the time you get this, by the time you're watching this, I should be. And for sure, there will be people right below here in the chat room at shotgunnow.net. Say hi to Patrick, the leprechaun that proves atheism is not true. God bless you guys. Don't forget to get your free Bible below here at shotgunnow.net and listen to me on shock radio so far no atheists have been able to prove atheism is accurate correct or for that matter even true however they have conceded that atheism contradicts itself 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to stay with the power and truth of Christianity. God bless you.